everybody and welcome back to lesson number 15 in this lesson we are going to simply take a tour and i'm going to walk you through the steps uh, that your user has to take to register on the website as well as uh, we'll just basically view the website from the member's perspective so without further ado let's do this so i'm going to open firefox and the reason for that is because i want to I want to log into the website uh, from another browser so that I'm not logged in as an admin. So if I go to marketly.andre.space, uh, yeah, so I can see the website, like I'll, I'll, I'll just go through this page then I can click on join today, for example, here, and I can sign up. Now, uh, let me just go to temporary email service uh, that I, I'll be using to, use a fake email uh, to register on the website. Uh, I'm going to use this one. So let me just say John Doe email is going to be this one, password. I'm just going to say password. All right, and so name on the card, let's just say John Doe. If you had a coupon, you can just click on uh, this piece of code here and insert your coupon but we don't have a coupon so we're not going to use this and we're going to use this special uh, credit card that stripe uh, uses for basically for uh, yeah for testing purposes just going to say month year CV, cvc code one two three and zip it's going to be let's say thirty thousand this numbers are fake so you can just basically insert anything you want here these numbers are numbers that are important just click on i have read and agreed to terms of service privacy policy and yeah it's going to say sign up to marketly newsletter uh just click on sign up we're going to save our username and password this one so give it a second it's going to do its thing Thank you welcome to our website if you want to visit your account click here so i can just go to the account page as you can see they have this home kind of tab subscriptions it shows them their subscription they can cancel or update a subscription well basically we don't have any other subscriptions so they won't be able to update to anything payments it shows them their former payments maybe we can make this box a little bit bigger but yeah, let's just leave it as it is for now. And they can log out and they can go to the dashboard page where they can see all these articles that are only visible for people who are members. So if I go to this article, if I can I see nobody, which is 99% of people then. this video by Gary V here. And I can leave us reply and say, hey, great video or whatever. I can post a comment here. All right, and so yeah, this is basically how it's it's working from the uh, member's perspective. Oh, so we have the uh, comment moderation uh, enabled. So the admin will have to go to posts, all posts. It was the LinkedIn video, click on edit. And I believe, where do we change it? Discussion. Hello comments, uh, give me a second. Someone here is supposed to, admin is supposed to be able to approve the comment or not. Um, I don't remember where this is, but yeah. Anyway, uh, oh, here it says comments, one comment. You can approve it, so if I click on approve, uh, I believe we can. Uh, what we can do is go to settings, discussion, and let me just search for approve. Uh, so right now, if uh, if I am logged in as a new user and I posted this comment, and the admin has not approved any of my comments before, uh, he's going to have to approve my first comment, but the other comments will, won't require approval uh, so you can just leave this setting here if you want or you can uh, just uncheck it I'm going to leave it here 
just save changes right and so if I go to my MailChimp let me just refresh it as you can see it says three contacts here because we connected our member press to MailChimp so here is our email address it's added here right so uh, we might want to change the merge tag to be in the last name here because as you can see it says one uh, in the uh, first name column so if I go to my a second if I go to yeah basically here member press options marketing and we can change the merge tag to be last name or any other field that we have uh, update options boom so now if user uh, basically becomes a member just yeah so as you can see this 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 comment has been approved so now if your user becomes a member they uh, the first name uh, is going to be saved as it's supposed to but the last name is going to be used for the uh, approval of the uh, to approve that they are uh, they have subscribed committed to, to subscribe to our newsletter so we can add a special field in here and then change it here in uh, MailChimp, but I'm not going to do this in this tutorial. The important thing is that they are added to your uh, MailChimp list. And so uh, let me just hide this one for now. So as you can see, I'm logged in. Now, if I want to log out, I just go to account, uh, log out, and I'm logged out. Now I can log in again. Click remember me, log in. Yeah, as you can see, it's working go to account page and this is basically it now we have our website ready to go uh, the only thing that we need to do before we launch it I believe is well obviously you want to have uh, enough content on the website so that uh, your subscribers have some content to consume but other than that we just have to go to payments and disable this test mode and update options I'm not going to do this for now and we're going to be ready to go with our website so thanks everyone for being a part of this video series i enjoyed doing them i hope you had great value from them and you learned something new let me know what you think about them and yeah comment below if you have other questions i'll try to respond and if you have requests for other video tutorials let me know i may do them in the future thank you bye